TD Nation, welcome back to another episode of Mutt15. We have plenty of new content to go over today. We get some new gifts, we get some new football outsiders. Of course, we're going to be opening up some packs for that 24-hour Russell Wilson. And by the end of the video, you will see the result of our divisional playoff game. So here's some of the new cards that came out today. We got an Eric Berry, a new Jack Lambert. Yes, he was re-released due to the outages over Christmas break. We got Kelvin Johnson, free safety, and out of position camp chancellor. Don't worry. I will show you guys all the stats and those cards in a second. Yesterday, we had a throwback Matt Forte, a quarterback Walter Payton, a flashback pack, and a seven pro pack bundle. Now, I had three gifts. Two of them opened up today. They were quick sells, and I also had the team of the week gift. Now, you're going to find yourself a collectible and a player in here. So, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to open this up. We get a week two collectible, and we get Everson Griffin. Now, I went around, and I saw some pictures of other team of the week gifts. And I'm pretty sure I had the worst one. So here are some of the players. We have an Eric Berry, 97 overall. You can see Madden. This is kind of a tribute card to him. Definitely one of the best safeties in the NFL, but unfortunately diagnosed with cancer. So hopefully we'll see him back and healthy sooner than later. We got a new Jack Lambert. Now it is kind of the same card, but the stats are a bit different. We got a free safety Megatron. Definitely a fan favorite. 93 speed. He's got 85 hit power. And of course, he's got that 94 catching. So if you're good at usering, you definitely want to pick that card up. And then we got an outside linebacker, Cam Chancellor. 91 speed, 85 zone coverage. He's got good hit power, but he has 104 jumping. Now, the reason why they made that card was because he kept jumping over the line and trying to block field goals when they were playing the Carolina Panthers. And also, here's some of the football outsiders. We got Tyler Klutz, an 85 overall fullback. Definitely not a bad fullback. I may actually pick him up. We got a new 88 overall wide receiver, Danny Amendola. Looks a little slow, doesn't have good release, but he's definitely pretty agile. 95 acceleration, 94 agility, along with that catch in traffic. And then we got Dequell Jackson. He is a very good middle linebacker here. You could probably pick him up for about 20 to 25K, and I would say he's definitely worth the price. And then last but not least, we have this 24-hour Russell Wilson. I mean, just looking at the back of the card, it's pretty much what you would expect. So I decided to go ahead and purchase an all pro bundle now it does come with an elite badge topper so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna get that out of the way and here we go my pack luck lately well my pack luck in pretty much the last month has not been very good but we are looking to change that today and also i am going to be starting the mutt master collection i know i'm a little late but i do have three legacy collectibles and i guess that's actually pretty rare so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to start completing those sets and hopefully sooner than later, we will get ourselves a 99 overall Richard Sherman along with that million coins. So here we are in pack number four. And once again, really nothing going on. Travis Kelsey, Joseph Fourier, two pretty good tight ends. But they won't be seeing the field anytime soon for us. Here we get the new football outsiders, Dequell Jackson. Like I said earlier in the video, definitely a great pickup for the price. Definitely recommend them to you guys. But he's going to be a backup for us since we have that 95 overall Luke Keekley. So with only a couple of packs remaining... The hunt for Russell Wilson still exists, or really any other elite. Here we get Stephon Gilmore, and here it is, the final pack of today's episode. We start things off, James Carpenter. We keep on going through, one card remaining, and it is Keith Rivers from the Buffalo Bills. So once again, not really a great pack opening, and I decided to go ahead and purchase Amendola. Only about 13,000 coins, definitely not a bad price. He's really not going to see the field, just kind of wanted to get him since I'm a Patriots fan. And here's one last look at our lineup before we jump into today's divisional round. Now, we did go undefeated in the regular season, so I'm not really looking to make any changes. Our chemistry's been on point, our defense has been on point, and our offense, I mean, they've just been doing great all year round. So here we are in the divisional round. In the first play of the game, we get a user interception with Jamie Collins. Now, that is back-to-back -back games. I have done that. So here we are in offense. First play after the turnover. Russell Wilson steps up in the pocket and finds Rob Gronkowski. Now, he got popped at the end of the play. Play, but it did not matter he already crossed the plane and just like that we're up seven to nothing in the first round of the playoffs definitely a great way to start so here's my opponent and Ryan Tannehill is his quarterback that is the throwback Ryan Tannehill and he's got ultimate freeze Steven Jackson in the backfield so on third and nine Tannehill looks like he's starting to get settled in finds his receiver across the middle first and ten against Steven Jackson I mean he is just carving up our defense but that's kind of how we are all year we tend to bend but we really don't break here on first and 10. The Donovan Sue meets him first, and then Big Vince brings him down. I mean, he's definitely going to be feeling that one tomorrow. This time he meets Thomas Davis, 
So on third and 14, it's an obvious pass situation. Tannehill looks right side, and that is Revis Island coming up with that interception. Looking to bring this one back, but we are brought down at about the 42-yard line. So here we are. Russell Wilson, he's going to keep this one himself, and we are just going to slide. Definitely going to play it safe. We don't need him getting hurt first and 10. We fake the handoff to Odell Beckham Jr., and down goes Russell Wilson. My opponent brought the blitz. So on third and 16, we're going to throw it up, not for Odell Beckham Jr., but for Keenan Allen. I mean, that just looked way too easy. And now we find ourselves with a 14 to nothing lead. Let's see how my opponent's going to respond. And you definitely can't blame Steven Jackson for the deficit in this game. I mean, he's just been a monster, breaking out of tackles, fighting for extra yardage there. I thought we almost got another user interception with Jamie Collins. So on second and five, he finds Donald Penn streaking down the field. I mean, that is one big boy to try and bring down. So on second and three, back to Steven Jackson. Steven Jackson picks up a first down and is finally brought down at the four-yard line. So on first and goal, Tannehill finds Jeremy Macklin across the middle of the field. And he's going to be brought down just a couple of feet away from the end zone. So on second and goal, Steven Jackson is denied by Indominus Sue. So on third and goal, again, another run by Steven Jackson. This time, it is Luke Keekley that brings him down for a loss of two yards. So on fourth and goal, his offense is on the field. And we come up with the goal line stand. And soon after that play, my opponent paused the game. I tried to resume, and he didn't. Your peer has quit the game. So that is it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be back tomorrow with the conference championship, and we'll be opening up some packs for the new legends. I'm TD Presents, and I'm signing out. Peace.